Hi Addy Axos family, here we go again. Welcome to our five minute mindset practice. Today's topic labeled as routine and motivation, finding common ground, will try to organize and bring some structure into that pool of terms appearing if it comes to the question what supports us best sticking to our plans and resolutions to eventually achieve our goals. In so doing, in reflecting upon all these terms, we aim to create awareness in order to grasp as well as utilize and apply all those powerful systems and tools which only remain hollow words and theory until we deal with the real nature. But before digging deeper there, as I have introduced and announced in my last mindset session about workload management on Friday, let us begin this session how we have started the last one, with our brief dial in breathing part to push everything that was going on throughout today aside, at least for this moment. So you can really focus on what I'm thinking aloud here and really take it as food for thought and start developing your own personal individual ideas and approaches. Today we are going to do the breathing a bit differently. You will breathe on your own with your own pattern. Like last time you can close your eyes if you want to. If you can breathe through your nose only and breathe into your belly. Feel it expanding when the air flows in. Try to have a deep inhale and even a longer exhale. Now, on your own, start breathing for approximately one minute. With every big exhale, you let go some stress and worries. I will let you know when the minute is over. So. Let's breathe together and consciously. Awesome, great job everyone. Hope you're dialed in now. Why provoking awareness about words like routine, consistency, motivation and inspiration? In my first video about finding your personal why, I cited those statements, routine beats motivation and consistency is key. In some context, it is true, comparing that long-term motivation versus a short motivation boost, juxtaposing those robust, resilient and lasting habits versus a temporary feeling of I need to change my lifestyle right here, right now. Having your personal why as a power source behind everything you do, all decisions you make for one thing versus an unsystematic activism on the downside. But still, are these things, real opposites, do they contrast or can they maybe live together and positively affect each other, routine and motivation. So with that being said, I want to give you an analogy. A construction worker needs and ideally has a general plan how to approach a project. But sometimes if something is not going as planned, he or she needs another tool from his or her toolbox. The general ideas, the system, what 
when, where and how to do it stay exactly the same, but the tool he or she is adding to the process might change. Now, personally, the other day I wanted to work out and I'm showing these inverted commas because it was one of these days that I guess all of us know and I did not feel 100% pushed and energized and ready to work out. But movement was on my schedule, so why should I break with my routines? Why should my movement pillar suffer just because my mindset was not right there at that instant? I did something that I felt like would facilitate start moving. I turned on some music, my workout playlist, and the session afterwards became great. So have your routine, be consistent, but sometimes it's as easy as I said, turn the music on and get rolling. Just find out what is working best for you. Listening to music, watching a short motivation video, or visualizing your why, which is generally framing everything you do, but telling it to yourself or having it written down somewhere where you can see it, makes it become one of your tools for practical application. So develop your own routines, approaches and tools. Be your own inspiration and motivation. Find your personal pace at what works best for you. Do it progressively and do it with a smile. Remember that 80-20 rule. Don't strive for 100%. Aim for 80 and of these 80% try to achieve 100. Now that's it from me for today guys. I want to wrap up with a statement my colleague and friend Coach Fritz told us in his last mindset practice about morning rituals. He said, the game of life has no off season. So always take care of and be good to yourselves and your loved ones. Cheers everyone, hope to see you next time.